Hey guys, I was way too impatient to wait until the end of the day to unbox this. Um, and so you're about to see the world's worst unboxing video. But after that, I'm going to tell you about how I got this file of facts for free. When your package comes during your lunch break and you just can't wait. My gosh, I don't want to have to wait until the evening, potentially when the baby goes to sleep, to open this. But I wanted to film an unboxing, so this is the quality you get. I am in the nursery filming one-handed while I feed the baby on my lunch break. Look what I got, guys. My very own pile of facts. Uh, I saved up Amazon codes from a bunch of different um, reward sites and things, and I will tell you all about how I did that and basically got this for effort, but no actual like money out of my bank account. Everything was from reward sites um, for more different reward sites and I will link those below and give you all the details after we're done with this unboxing. So let's take a look. I've never owned a file effects before. I'm definitely going to keep that box and use it. When you buy it from Amazon it comes with this, it's called a Delorio Jot Pad. I don't really know what this is. Um, I think it's just a little notepad. It's like a half size for the pocket. So um, yeah, I guess I'll try that out. So, uh, I'm still in my pocket size. Look, it's got like a slip cover. I got myself a Malden in the color Stone. Look at this. I don't really know what to expect the leather to feel like. Oh my gosh. It is, I have to say, it is softer than it looked in the pictures. That's so pretty. Oh my Excellent, excellent. All right. One-handed unboxings for the win, right? All right, it's got like this, uh, inserts that come with it are wrapped up in this plastic here. I don't know how much of this I'll actually use, but we've got a sort of, I don't know, plasticky flyleaf, definitely not keeping that. There is a ruler in here. Uh, centimeters on one side, inches on the other. Colorful note paper. I don't know if I will use colorful note paper. We've got here a uh, week on two pages, which uh, I think I'm happier with my Peanuts Planner Co. inserts. Uh, let's see. Some to do lists, some note paper, some blank paper, some grid paper. I like the size of the, that grid paper. And yeah, so I don't know what you think of, I don't know about anything about the file effects paper. Um, because yeah, I print out my own inserts, so I'm probably not going to use too much of this. But there's a little here, here at a glance. A couple, yeah, information, like for, I don't know. What are these? Oh, it's just like information about countries. It's the kind of stuff that you get in like a school planner or something. And then we've got six dividers here. Let's see. Hmm. Mm. I may use these to trace out my own. We'll see. I probably don't, I don't know if I'm going to keep these ones and use them as is, or if I'll try to modify them somehow, but anyway, so that's what comes in. Oh, look at that. It comes with a pocket, too. A top floating pocket. I did not expect that. That's awesome. So we've got all of the beautiful pockets and things. Let's see, there's fabric lining these pockets. I was curious about that. And it feels really squishy. Like, just from pictures and from videos, I really didn't know what to expect it to feel like. But it has a nice flop to it. It's kind of squishy and soft. And just gorgeous. I love this color. It is, it is a warm gray, but I wouldn't say it's taupey. I'd say it's really just a warm gray. The logo on the spine. And then the reason I definitely wanted to stay in the pocket size is, and, and get them all did, is I love this back pocket here. There's all the things that can fit in here. Uh, I may try to use this as a wallet. I'm not sure if I will or not. But if I do, I can put the cash back there maybe. So, oh my gosh. I'm very excited to set this up. I will definitely be showing you a setup when it's all done. But um, first I wanted to tell you all about how I saved up to get this using rewards and not having to spend any money. So I'm going to do that um, when I have two hands and can tell you more about it. So here's a better shot. 
it's gorgeous. I love it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I expected, I don't know if I expected it to be less soft or, I mean, it's, it's slick, but it's squishy and it's great. And I have, um, my planner set up. I just moved the guts over into here throughout the day. Um, but I wanted to tell you how I got this journal for free. Basically, I didn't spend any money out of our bank accounts. Everything was from Amazon gift cards that I got through these various different reward sites. Um, I think I said four, it's five. Uh, first one, you may have heard of Swag Bucks. Uh, basically, it's like a search engine and also it has like surveys and like videos and things to watch. A bunch of different ways to earn points towards um, gift cards. And so you can get Amazon, you can get um, basically anything, Starbucks, Walmart, Target, um, all sorts of places. And it's pretty easy to earn everything. Um, you can also do like offers and shopping and get um, like rebates for shopping. So I cashed in $25 of my swag bucks and got some Amazon credit. The next one is Smart Panel. This one you have to like qualify for. There's going to be links to all of these down below. Um, Smart panel you have to qualify for. You basically link your devices and then it sort of tracks your browsing behavior and it's a sort of market research for like how people use technology. So it's kind of interesting and it's super easy because you don't have to do anything. You just link up your devices, make sure that they're syncing and sending data. Um, and then every month you get $5 and you can get that either as PayPal or as Amazon credit. So I saved those up for a few months. They also send out um, surveys in your emails that are usually about three um, dollars on Amazon that you can get those pretty quick surveys. So that's a great one. Uh, the next one is also similar in that you set it and forget it. Uh, it's called Panel App. It's an uh, app for your phone and it's basically uh, tracks your location. It, I believe what it's trying to do is improve location results for maps and things like that. Um, and so there's also a survey every day that's optional that you can sort of tell it where you were. And then that earns points and you can uh, cash that in in as little as $1 increments for Amazon and a couple other things. I know that at some of the higher levels you can get play credit. Um, and there's also like sweepstakes or whatever you can enter. Don't do that. Go for the guaranteed stuff. Next, this one isn't really like a survey or like, you know, this one's like an actual work site. It's called Amazon's Mechanical Turk or MTurk for short. Fun fact. So the Mechanical Turk was this quote unquote like chess playing robot that was invented way back in, uh, I don't know, the 1800s or something. And the point is it was supposed to be this robot that could solve, you know, nowadays, of course, we have chess playing robots and that's fine. But back in the day, of course, robots weren't even a thing. And so it was the wonder of the world. Wow, it's playing chess and it's beating. But really what it turned out, it was a person inside the machine who was playing chess for the robot and beating all these people. It was just like grandmaster inside the machine. So the point of Amazon's Mechanical Turk is it's like the computer jobs, but that only people can do stuff like qualifying images, you know, like saying this is a picture of a stop sign or collecting data or transcribing stuff from receipts or from, you know, forms things, small jobs that only people can do. And so any like company can submit tasks and then you can do them for as little as a penny or there's like some surveys that are a couple bucks. And so I mostly do surveys and I just use it as a little source of a little bit of cash if I need something that I'm saving up for. So I spent a little bit of time doing some surveys and things on MTurk and um, saved up some, since it's from Amazon, you can send it straight to your Amazon balance, but you can also have it sent straight to your bank account. Um, depending on where you live in the world. And then the last one, this is a fun app called Shopkick that my whole family loves to use. Um, basically, you get um, points for walking into stores and for scanning items in the store. So it's like a scavenger hunt whenever you go shopping. And I just uh, remember to pull out the app and at least get my walk-in credits every time I go into a store to go grocery shopping. Um, Walmart, Target um, are the big ones and a lot of grocery stores have it as well. And then you can kind of scan some of the items. If you're feeling, you know, ambitious, you can scour the whole store and look for all the latest, you know, scans that are available. It's usually new products that they want people to be aware of. And then you can also get credit for like buying stuff. I don't usually do that, but um, I cashed in some of that for uh, an Amazon gift card. I usually spend my shop kicks on Starbucks gift cards and that just sort of supports my occasional um, habit of getting a Starbucks drink when I feel like it. 
So that's where I saved up all of my points from these five different sources over the course of, I want to say three months. Um, I know that I mentioned in a video a while back, and I don't remember which one, that I was saving up for this planner, and that's what I meant, that I will, at the time I was thinking I might spend some of my own money, but then I realized that I would be able to do it all just using those sources. So I've linked everything below. Um, a couple of them, they will be marked our referral links, so if you use those referral links, then um, you get a little bit of a bonus and I get a little bit of a kickback. So that's up to you if you want to use those. Um, and I am man, really excited to use this new file effects. I, like I said, will be posting a setup video that may be either later this month, early next month, or I'm probably going to post a setup video before the New Year's setup video, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to be just sort of petting this and opening and closing it compulsively for the rest of the night. You guys have a good day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.